kid named Fallon was playing with a ball, and it was orange. The kid loved to play kickball and eat oranges. Next day, he played kickball until, until the ball went pop. It's gone forever. So he went to the toy store and got a new ball. It was huge, and it was orange. He brought it home and played kickball and kicked it into the river. It also ran into the spiky plants and it went pop. So he got a big red ball. And he won every single game of kickball. Yeah, everyone cheered. Yay! The kid was so famous and so rich that he bought another big orange ball. The end. Once there was a kid that was named Landon. Landon had a tree that could walk and talk. It was fantastic. Nobody knew how the tree did it, but that is not important right now. It was time for the apple orchard contest. Whoever had the most apples would win. Landon said, I should start picking, and picked, he, and picked after five days of picking. Landon had picked one million apples. He entered and won one million dollars. One day, a little girl named Kendall was in the forest. She saw a huge tree filled with very large apples. She was so hungry, and Kendall wanted a huge red apple. So she ran to the tree and shook the daylight out of it. She saw almost a hundred apples fall. Which one is best, thought Kendall. She searched forever, then she found the best one. It was huge. Oh my, this is definitely the best one. Kendall saw, said Kendall, and rolled it back home. Kendall and her mom and dad were surprised to see a huge apple on their back porch. I can't wait to eat it all, said Kendall. Kendall, how are you going to eat that when it's all dirty, questioned her mom. Kendall thought and realized that it was all dirty from rolling it home. So she took her hose and sprayed it and sprayed it. Kendall thought it would take forever, but it only took about five minutes. Then Kendall sat on her porch and ate the big apple. Kendall was full after a half an hour of eating the apple. And she didn't even get a quarter of it done. Kendall had a very long day of apple picking, but it was time for bed. Kendall was excited to visit the tree tomorrow, but it was time to sleep. All night she was dreaming of apples. When she woke up, she saw her apple was missing. Ah, where's my apple? Kendall screamed. She knew someone took it, but who? Kendall thought, that it would take a long time to find out who took her apple. But she thought that it wouldn't take a while to find a huge apple. So Kendall went back to the woods only to see a rac woods only to see a raccoon getting ready to eat her apple. Kendall Kendall screamed, Get off my apple The raccoon soon realized she was there and it ran off in the woods. Kendall rolled it back home again, hosed it off and ate it all. Her parents helped a little but Kendall mostly ate it. After another day, she went to sleep with a tummy ache, but it was all worth it because she had a very good night again. That egg, or is it? I Abby Siegel. One day there was a girl named Taylor, and one sunny day, Taylor's mom went and picked her up at school, and on her way home, she drove past the pet store and saw the cutest puppy in the world. She told her mom that she wanted a dog, and her mom said she needed to work and get her own money. So one day she walked home, and she looked in the pet store and saw a puppy. And every day she would check to see if the dog was still there. So one day she found a food cart and needed a helper, and she would get $20 a day. So she told her mom, I found a job, and her mom said, cool, how much does it pay? And Taylor said, so after school, she went to work and had a good time and got her money. So every day, she'd work and got her money until she got $200 to buy the dog. Then her mom drove her to the, pet, to the store, and they got the puppy and the stuff that the puppy needed. Next, she kept on working and played with her new puppy, who she named... Trixie and they live happily ever after that and by now.
found a big cube from the weighed 500 pounds. They loved it and bought it. Then they carved it and made it scary and they had lots of fun carving it. And when Halloween came and they had a very, very, very scary house, they were happy that they were the scariest house on the street. They really wanted to be the scariest house on the street. They had very good costumes. the teacher said. She ran out of school and went home and she was holding a textbook in her room. All of a sudden, someone yelled, Oh, Bailey! It was the neighbor. She didn't know if she would tell her parents, but she really ran really fast and told her parents, Sorry, I can't play today. All of a sudden, now she had to find someone to put the toy. She decided to Okay. 
record this. The parent says, we have to go somewhere. As her parents left, she picked up the kid and ran away. They stayed. She decided to make a sign of the lost cat. It's black, white, and very fluffy. When she found the owner, she was very sad to give the cat back, but she couldn't because she couldn't have a cat. Also, it wasn't hers. So she gave the cat back in the dog's face. She started crying. Uh-uh. Bye.